why you failed, Weber. The only important fact being that you did fail. Certainly, you must concede that a live sentry able to identify his attackers is, shall we use your word, an error. The sentry saw no one, sir. His back was turned when Charles fired. But the two who were taken, will they talk? I wish I could be assured of your success as I am of their silence. I give no assignment to gamblers. I know it was a foolish question. I shouldn't have asked. Charles. Charles escaped, you notice. He got away. Charles is always resourceful. But for your faulty instructions, he would have succeeded. Everywhere he goes, he is incredible in his exactness. Yes, yes, most remarkable man. We can't all be so perfect. Shall I retain attorneys for the two who were taken? That would be the final stupidity. The matter will be handled through our regular channels. Now we shall try it your way, Weber. You are a friend of Colonel Dale's, the Marine Commandant. And his daughter, Linda, Mr. Fletcher. According to this dossier, is engaged to Lieutenant Stephen Landers, one of those in charge of testing and improving the bomb release. Of which we must have the plans. Exactly. Colonel and his daughter are stopping at the Carlton Country Club. My room is engaged there. My baggage is on the way there. Finesse may be more effective than force. Not always. But let us hope it will be in this case, for your sake. You sit there and admit you allowed a slip of a girl to upset the whole plan? It's ridiculous. Unheard of. But I could order no violence, sir. Our families have been friends for years. Her father... Father. No father, no mother, no brother, no sister, no friend. Only our country. Let me remind you of that, Weber. But we understand each other completely. All right. Let's get to the business at hand. Your men know the location of the vault? Perfect. And it is no difficult matter to secure uniforms? That can be arranged easily enough. Very well, then. You will infiltrate four men into the camp during the maneuvers. This time, we will provide extra escape cars. The same trick we used in the California matter. <laughs> Those idiotic Americans. They are still trying to puzzle that one out. So, as soon as your men have the plans, they will proceed as quickly as possible to meet you at your seaplane. And you will proceed on to the rendezvous. Have you arranged for the transoceanic seaplane to meet us there? We do not miss on even the slightest detail, Weber. The plane will be waiting. With it will be the regular crew. They are all trained machine gunners. You are to be complimented on your thoroughness, sir. I do not look for compliments, Weber. Only efficiency. And Weber, remember, it was the most unhealthy to report another failure. <laughs> 